Uh, my name is Tony Gunawan, and I coming from Indonesia, born in Indonesia, in Surabaya, and uh, playing badminton since I was five. Coming from the last 30 years and playing professionally, and even today you still play professional tournaments occasionally, um, how have you think the sport has changed? Everyone just more focus on offense, 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 and then you know keep the, the shuttle like tight, flat, and play offense most of the time. So whoever attacking you win because of the point system. So the speed uh, and the focus is uh, increasing by a bit. Actually. But even then, I mean, even after uh, you won world champions for the U.S. in 2005, mm -hmm. and then a couple years later you started partnering up with Chandra again, yeah. and you know, at that time, you, you, in, in a sense, it could be said that you were already in the tail end of your career. Yeah. Even then, you were still, you know, dominating, you know, especially with you know all the newer players, and so even with all these changes, um, you know, how have you been able to kind of navigate and adapt? Right now, the focus is very important, mental and focus a lot like compared to before i mean of course every game every sport mental is very important but right now the focus the uh, when you're losing by five you're losing by six it's hard to come back right but right now it's still possible but you need a lot of like um, mentality like strong mentality to to make that happen which is before oh five five point ah, it's okay i still can make it back you know uh, right now it's a lot harder so yeah i think the game itself um, like i said before the many players um, defensive players but you see right now it's not much not much the defensive player can survive who would you say at your prime was probably one of the toughest opponent you've you faced the koreans the toughest uh, at that time um kingdom moon had one and then uh lidong su and yu young sun those, those two is always we played them most of the major tournaments either semis or finals so those two are the hardest then after that of course there is malaysian there is China, China also. Um, yeah, I think the toughest always Kim Dong Moon and Ha Tae Kwan, then Lee Dong Soon, Yoo Young Soon. Is there a particular game that um, that comes to you when I ask you, like, you know, what would be the most memor uh, memorable one that comes to mind? Well, of course, number one is Olympics because as um, you know, every four years, and then not only that, but you are representing like the whole country also, um, and. After that, actually, it was world champion with Howard uh, in 2005. Because 2002, I moved to United States, and then you know everyone, uh, my my teammates, uh, my, all mostly the top player. They, I think I believe they think that my career is finished, right? And then I partner with a U.S. player Howard Buck, um, and we never win any major tournaments. Uh, our highest rank is eight, I mostly 13, like around that. And we won only uh, U.S. Open, uh, Dutch Open, you know, German Open, which is, um, I think, like that time, three star, not five star, right? And never win Super Series, like right now they call it Super Series, this. So be able, actually, to be able to, in the finals itself, in World Champion, it's already kind of like very proud already. It's already proven myself to, uh, and proven to everyone like hey i'm still here right and be able to win it that's just extra were people telling you that your career was done or were you hearing from other people saying that your career was done at the time a little bit sad of course right like hey watching my teammates watching my partner uh, chandra that i'm like still playing and then be able to win this and that tournament of course a little bit sad but this is my um life choice and then you know to come here to learn different culture, different things that um, because I'm thinking in my badminton career, world champion and Olympic, I already get it and what else, right? What else new? So it's my choice uh, and I, I never regret it, right? Um, I'm be, I mean, I'm happy right now uh, be able to coach, build my own academy since 2011, uh, been seven years right now, uh, growing better and better. So yeah. I'm happy.
I was actually uh, there uh, when you guys won in 2005, and actually behind behind me, sitting behind me, was Fu Haifeng from China. Oh, okay. and I remember before your guys the final started, I asked, I asked him, who, who do you think is going to win? He's like, of course, Sigurd and Chandra. What are you talking about? Like, you know, very, you know, like he was. Every, everybody was really confident yeah. that you know that in that you know your home country was. Going yeah, to win. yeah, yeah. I remember after you guys won and you guys went around the corner. Uh, I remember uh, your old coach Christian, the older mm -hmm. guy. Yeah, the way, yeah, he yeah. immediately came up to you and just like started congratulating you yeah. and everything. Christian, it's like father figure for me. Uh, since I was in national team, um, Christian and and coach Harry Harry uh, IP is always be there for me. Also a bit Chandra too, of course. So any difficulties in my mental, my training, so we always discuss, I always discuss with him. Uh, and, you know, he, he's one of a kind, like a Christian Hadina is one of a kind. He always come early, like six in the morning. We start training 7.30, he come at six. So if I woke up early, I already met him, then I always ask him to help me, help me up. So our relation is, it's pretty close. So, hey, I'm not gonna be here if without, um, Coach Christian and Coach Harry. So, like I said, um, they, they've been there and they make me like this. So I'm really grateful for them. And really grateful for all my partner, my Ch like Chandra, Rexy, uh, Howard. Uh, again, if someone told me I'm right now I'm one of the um, strongest players, it's because I have all the strongest coach, strongest uh, partner and strongest in world champion I think the spectator, <laughs> this, uh, uh, the vibe they are cheering is give me a lot of energy. So yeah, I'm really grateful for all of this. But is there ever like a point in time where you kind of told yourself, hey, I'm, I, I think I'm the best in the world now? I always tell myself, right? I mean, I think I always tell my students also, right? Um, you know, uh, even you're the best, but the, the best of you yourself, by yourself, is maybe 70%, right? And all surrounding you, the one that helping you, your coach, your teammates, your uh, parents, your um, anything, girlfriend, or whoever it is, it's all of them is 30%, right? So without them, without th that 30%, it's not going to bring you 100%. So uh, that's, I think, those thinking, the, the one that helped me always hey, be grateful with everyone. Um, and like I said, uh, but again, I also also telling my students too, hey, but if you lose, don't blame, don't blame anyone. Blame yourself because yourself the one at seventy percent. So, I think those kind of um, mentality thinking that helped me get through all, all of this. Yeah. You know, for me, like growing up in the U.S., um, a lot of my coaches were younger. I, I don't think you know. I, I don't think we had like more um, older figures, more experienced figures like Christian and yeah. Harry that you guys had. And so, you know, what are some what what, what are some of the knowledges that he kind of you know passed on to you guys? I think mostly mental, uh, challenging. So every time. Of course, the training is always hard, right? But every time it's always challenging us. Okay, when we do hard training, uh, physical or, or on court, uh, finish and he always uh, asking, okay, that's it? Are you done? I can do you more, uh, can you do more? You know, if you're done, then maybe you only quarterfinals now <laughs> or semifinals now, you're not champion yet, those kind of stuff. So always challenging us to do better and better. So that's why I have the, uh, you know, our academy, uh, I. Again, I built an uh, academy since 2011 called Global Badminton Academy. And our motto is, uh, if better is possible, and good is not enough. Now, um, drawing parallels in basketball, uh, if you look at Michael Jordan, when, when he retired, uh, you know, they did an interview, and, they, he, and he basically said something along the lines of, you know, hey, I see all these young people nowadays, and you know, I still feel like I could defeat them mentally, I still feel that I could take it, but mm -hmm. body-wise, I know it's tough for me. Yeah. And so for you, do you still feel that itch where it's like, you know, oh, you, know, you, see, you see a major tournament, you're like, oh man, I, I, st I still want to play, I still can play. I think my personality is also very competitive. Of course, like, you, I saw, uh, I still see some tournament in YouTube, um, right? Then when I saw them play, of course I want to, hey, I, I think I can handle this and that, but yeah, I, I know for sure my body, my, my reaction, my eyes, and I can follow, be able to follow that. But um, but what I can give them or students or um, uh, friends, right? Like, meaning like I've been going back and forth to Japan, so you know I give them some tips, those kind of strategy and mental, those that I can help on those. For sure, yeah. But body wise, yeah, no way. I don't know if you'll admit this, but do you ever YouTube old videos of yourself to kind of reminisce on the past? Never. Actually, I can say never. Like seeing, 
I don't, I mean, watching, like searching myself and then watching play. But most sometimes, like my students say, hey, this is a video I find on YouTube and they send me the link. Those, yes. But um, yeah, I don't really watch myself. <laughs> Again, it's already, I think if compare now, the game before and now is uh, quite different. So I want to be keep update, <laughs> right? So right now, the most uh, famous players is Kevin and Marcus. And then uh, the rest is quite quite um, uh, similar, right? Like um, Chinese has two pairs of China and then Li Yongde is coming back. Um, so yeah, I still keep watching. If you had to kind of look at the new generation now, um, do you see yourself in any of these players? And if you do, like which one do you think you see yourself the most in? I think I see myself a little bit on uh, Hendra Setiawan. Um, that's it. <laughs> like, like, like Kevin, I think is more explosive, aggressive. Like I mean, like everywhere, like reaction is very fast. I think uh, I can see myself in Hendra. Hendra is more like um, tactical, like like from here waiting, anticipate. Right? But Kevin have like incredible reaction, so it's different. I mean, he is very good at the front, but more of. Uh, I think compare, like me, Hendra is more like, like I said, is more anticipate. After this, what, what, what we think opponent gonna do, but Kevin's reaction is kind of like one of a kind. Uh, Style-wise, he slightly reminds me of Sigurd a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Little but Sigurd a little bit more defense. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. about Leong Day? Leong Day of oh, flawless defense. Like the technique, you can see if the technique is Leong Day one of the best technique. Leong De um, uh, and Cook and Cat is, you know, technique is incredible. So again, uh, the style is different. But defense, oh, like, uh, very smooth. Very, very smooth. At the front, I think he's a playmaker also set up. Not mean enough, I think, in the front. But defense in the back, like really overall, you can say, Everywhere he goes is good, but his uh, strength point, his defense can, can be creative, like in trouble can be creative. And not, like I said, not only that, he's very smooth, his skill is very good. Do young players, like not, not young players here, but just internationally, do young, have young players, like even the new generation ever come up to you, ask you for advice? Yeah, some come sometimes, sometimes like when like Indonesian players, yeah, or the young ones sometimes, yes, uh, not, not really much because I think generation is different and then you know in Asia culture you not really just come up and then ask question right away I think U US and Western culture is yes but yes from Denmark uh, before uh, Matthias Bo we are good friend also I play with him two years in league Denmark league so he asked questions and stuff yeah what did he ask you Any, anything specific how control the front how you know be calm like how like when I do um, I play him and then I do something, uh, when I net, he tap and I just, from the front, like, uh, take it back again, like, controllable. And then he's like, hey, how you do that? How you still, like, calm, like, control? Those kind of, those kind of things, yeah. you play with so many partners already. Um, how many, like, four or five, I don't know? I don't know, more than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in your professional career. Yeah. And I know it's going to be very difficult for you to choose one, but, you know, who would you say you've had the most enjoyable I mean, I'm sure you enjoy playing with all of them because yeah. you've, you know, you've had really good accolades. But anyone special enough? Or like, oh, yeah, like you said, like I have many partners. Uh, some of them are very short, like, and, and then everyone's different. But yes, uh, I think if I want to choose one of them, then Chandra is, uh, Chandra Vijaya is, because he he's the one that um, teach me how to be very strong in mental. So. Uh, I think for me, um, before as a player, I'm like, okay, like pretty good. But he, he's the one that bring me up like, hey, we have to be better, better at this. So uh, it's this uh, different kind of character, very tough, very tough mental, very tough um, as a partner, as a player, it's very, very tough. So I, I look up like uh, to him is pretty much. Uh, so now, like you're in the U.S., I mean, what's um, you know, you won, you know, you have your own school already, you have um, you know multiple accolades already, you have all, all, all the fame already. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, what do you want to do from here on out? I think try to bring um, badminton US like bigger and higher level. Um, that's that's our goal right now. Me and my wife. We, that's why we have this academy and it's growing. Is we have some players um, doing pretty well international. Even though you know it's not easy in US because we don't have funding, so they have to fund them themselves. And then when they go to college, they have to choose. Sometimes they uh, they still. Uh, go to college and then they're still playing tournaments. But I'm very proud of all my students. In the future, then I can, you know, make the level up there, uh, compare with, with top country like Denmark, uh, Indonesia, China, and those. Of course, yeah. Why do you love the sport so much? <laughs> I don't know, I've been playing badminton since I was five. And uh, national team, I moved here, um, try to go to school uh, for two years and then still come back again play uh, and then I'm 43 now so I think badminton is, is in my blood.